Hey everybody, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a clip shape that you can use to clip your terrain file, alignment file, or any of the reference files in your OBM model. So oftentimes the data that we reference into our OBM models is much bigger than we need in terms of area. And as you can see here, with our support lines placed, our area of interest is much smaller than our overall alignment file and terrain. I mean, you have all this data here with the terrain file, the alignment file, and really all we care about is the area where the bridge is, which is going to be right here. You know, and your bridge can really get lost in all this and make the zoom extents tool, you know, somewhat useless because you know, you're not really zooming into the extents of the area that you care about. So a good way to trim that data down to just the area that we need is to create a common clip shape that we use to clip all of our references and the terrain file. I like to create this as a separate file after I've already laid out my support lines and my main OBM model so that we know exactly the area of our interest that we care about. So to start off with, I'm just going to create a new file, give it a logical name like clip shape, So once this file is created and opened up, I go ahead and reference in my main OBM model, train model, and my alignment files. One thing you want to make sure you do is turn off that annotative scale for your references so you can see the information that's being brought in better. And now I can see my peer lines and my information better. And from here, I just create a 2D shape, usually a rectangle, but it can be a custom polygon if you want to get even more specific with your area. And I usually like to turn off the AccuSnap down here beforehand, just to make sure that I have more control over my shape points. And once my shape is placed, I'll just go ahead and turn off all the references in this file that I just referenced in here because my clip shape will be done. So I'm going to go ahead and create that polygon shape. And again, I have my AccuSnap turned off to help me not snap to all these little triangles in the terrain file here. It looks like my first pier line's there, last one's here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab you know, this area about like this. This looks good. And that's it. And this is what we're going to use to start clipping our files. So this is just creating the clip shape element in a clip shape file. So I'm done with this really now. So I can go ahead and turn all these off and detach them. And just save that file and then go back, open, open up your main OBM model file. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and just reference in that clip shape file we just created. Bring it in, there it is. And I can just go ahead and clip any of my references here that I want to. So I'll start off with my alignment file. You know, the alignment file is way too big in, in terms of the area of interest here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the alignment. So clip, method to element, and just select that element there. And then now I'm clipped down to the area of interest I care about. And I could do the same thing with my terrain file here, but I'm actually going to go into the terrain file and clip the, the native file that I created itself because that'll reduce the file size and just improve some overall performance. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up that existing ground survey file. And same thing as before, just go into your references, reference in the clip shape file. And then the tool you're going to want to use for clipping this terrain is located in the OBM workflow. And you can go to the Civil tab. And then under here, under Terrain Model, click in a little drop down here and Create Clipped Terrain Model. And you want to go ahead and have that method set to external. 
All these other defaults here look good, so we'll just kind of keep them that way. Make sure the feature definition is set. One important thing to note real quick here, though, is you're going to make, want to make sure you're not clipping the, the project's main terrain model, since others are using that. You know, you just want to clip the one that you created yourself from the project terrain file. Now from here, you can just click on the terrain model you want to clip, and then click on the clipping element. Reset or right click to accept, and then left click a couple times to accept these inputs. And there you go, your terrain's clipped. Now you can go ahead and get rid of the main terrain file that you created. Select it and delete. And unreference or turn off the reference for the clip shape. And that's what you're left with. Nice trimmed down terrain file here. So let's go back into our main model and see what this looks like in there. And once we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that clip shape reference. And there you go. So now we're left with you know much more concise uh, area of interest in terms of our terrain and our, our alignment here. You know our zoom extents button actually is purposeful now. It actually zooms to the area that we care about. So this is the good way to trim down the, both the terrain file and any reference files you bring into your model. And that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help the channel by hitting that subscribe button you see on the screen now. Give the video a like and share it with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.